in this session we are going to learn about type of operator in our previous session we have seen multiple operators arithmetic operators how to use increment and decrement operators logical operators comparison operators multiple operators we have seen now in this we are going to learn about type of operators okay in our data type session we have already seen what is type of operator now in this we are going to learn more about type of operator okay so let's get started now i have opened my visual studio code now type of operator is nothing but it is used to find the data type of the operands now operands we have already seen apart from operator whatever numbers we are having that is our operand now if i just take an example let me just write one example here let x is equal to 2 plus 3 so this 2 and this 3 these are called as operands so using type of operator we can find the data type of this operand okay and this operands can be variables it can be functions it can be objects and everything in our data type session we have already seen there are two data types in javascript primitive data type and non primitive data type inside primitive we have seven data types we have strings we have numbers we have boolean we have null we have undefined okay these are called as primitive data types and also we are having non primitive data types now to find this value belongs to which data type we are having type of operator and it will be represented like this type of now let us just see an example i will just create one variable let y is equal to 2 i will be writing log and inside this type of y i will save this as soon as i save this one I will get the type of y as number because 2 is number. Now, in the same way, if I just put here double quotes or single quotes, then this will be treated as a string. So, as I save this one, I will be getting the output as string because this is my string. So, using this type of operator, whatever value we are having here, we will get the data type of that particular value. Okay, this is our variable. Now, this y variable is the string data type. Now, here if I just write here true, now this will be Boolean data type. We have null. Null, is, null means nothing. Okay, we do not have anything. But here if you see here, for null we are getting the data type as object. But null is our primitive data type and object is our non primitive data type. So, for null, we will be getting the data type as object. So, it is nothing but it is just a bug in JavaScript. We are having undefined. Undefined value means later maybe I can just define this value. As of now, I don't have any value to this. So, if I just give here undefined, I will save this. I will get the data type as undefined. If I have not given any number, I have just declared y. Now, as soon as I save this one, again I will be getting the data type as undefined. So, undefined is also a data type. Number is a data type. String is data type. Boolean is data type. Null is data type. Undefined is data type. We have begin, we have symbol, and those were introduced in ES6. So, once we learn about ES6 concept, then we are going to learn more about symbol data type, begin data type. Now, let's see about non primitive data type. Now, here let me just write here type of. I will be creating one function. And inside this, let me just write here my name. I will remove this from here. I will save this. I will just put here flower braces i will save now you can see type of function is function now let me just create one object let me just comment this one 
Now below this I will be creating one object. Let x is equal to f name. That is first name. I will be giving my name. Then here let me just write here class. Let me just write here 7. x is already declared. Let me just write here z. Now here I just want to print log and I just want to find the data type of this one type of z. I will save this. You can see the object data type is object and also we have seen for null we are getting the data type as object. Okay as I told you that is just a bug in JavaScript. Now we have arrays as well. Let me just copy this. Here I will be pasting this one. Now here for arrays, inside arrays we can store numbers, we can store strings, we can store boolean values. But the data type of arrays will also be an object. Because in JavaScript arrays are treated as an object. Now here arrays will be represented using square bracket. Inside this I can store number. I can store string, I can store boolean value, whatever it is, I can just store inside the array. Now, if I just get the data type, you can see for array also, we are having the data type as object. Okay, this is how type of operator is used to get the data type of that particular variable. Now, it is done. Now, let me just uncomment this one. Now this data type is object. Now if I just give here z is equal to null, I am just redefining, okay? I am just re I am just updating this value to null. Now if I just try to find the data type of z, that will be object because we have already seen for null also the data type is object and for object the data type is object. So as soon as I save this one, I will get the data type as object. Now in place of this, let me just copy, here I will be pasting that, let me write here A, A and A. Now if I just write here undefined, I will save this. Now you can see the data type is changed to undefined. As soon as I update the value to undefined, the data type will be changed to undefined. So the difference between null and undefined is, they are having the same value but the data type is different. For null, we have the data type as object. For undefined, we have the data type as undefined. Okay, we are just updating object data type to undefined here. And here, we are just updating object to null and data type remains the same, that is object. Now you will be having a question, what is the data type of this type of operator? Okay, we have already seen about operators. We have arithmetic operators, plus, minus, multiplication. We have division. We have, we have modulus operator. Okay, all these are called as arithmetic operators. And for these operators, we do not have any data type. As I already told you, for this particular operands, we are going to find the data type. What data type the value is what data type this variable is but for this plus operator we will not be finding any data type so in the same way type of is an operator it is not a value it is not a variable it is an operator so for operator we will not be able to find any data type it is just an operator okay this type of operator is also very important to find the data type of that particular variable. So if you want to convert that string to number, that also you can perform by finding out the data type of that variable. So you should be having an understanding where type of operator is used and what is type of operator. Okay, this is all about type of operator. It is nothing but it is just used to find the data type of that variable. Now whatever value we have stored inside this variable, it is just used to find the data type of this particular value. That particular variable will be having that data type. Let it be strings, numbers 
object undefined function this is how we are going to find the data type of operands in next session we are going to learn about bitwise operator we are going to understand about left shift right shift and we are going to see practical examples so that you will have a clear understanding on bitwise operators